Hello friends, welcome back to Node.js tutorial. So last day we discussed about how to use EJS into our application, into our Node.js application. So I installed EJS and uh, to use the EJS we need to use the app set and we need to use the view engine as a EJS, right? And already created a view file and from the view file we can access any views and remember that the file extension should be EJS. So I will recommend you please see the previous video. The links are provided in the description section. In this video, we are going to discuss how to use loop or if I just want to create any condition, then how we can do this, right? So simply, uh, this is a data and I'm just passing data to the uh, view that is the student.ejs, right? Now, here, I want to uh, pass some array type data means a uh, multiple data and I want to show that record from the JS file using the loop right so how you can do this simply um, just pass any uh, student subject right so student may, may, may have multiple subject and just like in this way that is math and then pass uh, suppose physics then pass any things that is history okay so just first three things and let's see how we can print this so first things how we can access that thing so simply if i just going to print in this way so write uh, subject is or subject are the student dot subject so let's see what happened if I just going to print the array so simply just go here and refresh so we are getting subject or math physics history but I want to print these things in a UL or any uh, LI or right so how we can do this so I want to print this through the loop step by step one by one right so simply just uh, write here subjects are uh, then right here so simply to create any loop so this is the syntax to start anything so simply write student and where is the subject student dot subject and i want to execute a for each loop actually the advantage of for each loop is if i want to execute for each loop we don't need to think about the number of time execution actually for each loop will execute until the full array traverse right so simply uh, let's uh, set item and let's use the array function and inside the array function just pass this so simply uh, just write here in this way uh, percentage and just open this and again just close this here right so this is the for each loop and we'll get all the things from the item so simply just write here any li so write li and inside the li just print this so simply write percentage equal to and then write item okay and just close this remember that here when we just want to print something we are using equal otherwise it will simply that things right so i think it will okay and just go here and refresh so we are getting subjects are math physics history so if i want to add something new here suppose i want to say it, uh, english right and just refresh this we are getting this okay so this is all about the looping concept we can create multiple data also so if i have a multiple number of student and execute loop on that and the next things i need to show you how to use conditional operator right so here you can see the age is 30 so i want to create a condition for age right so if the age is below uh, 19 then i will print something otherwise i will print else right so simply just write the condition if student dot age sorry student dot age is 
less than 19 that time I will say something so here simply and inside here we will just write something so simply write p tag and you are under 19 otherwise we can print also the else part also simply write else and here just print these things okay and here right you are grown enough right so just format this you are grown up. okay so let's see how it's working so now the student age is 30 so that means we can see you are grown up and if I just change the age that is suppose 15 then let's see you are under 19 that means condition also successfully working so in this video what we learned actually we learned how to pass data into the view and how to execute the loop and how to create a condition right or how to build a logic right so hope you will like this video and still if you have any queries about this video please comment in a below comment section so next we are going to discuss more interesting thing like we will create a simple menu or we will create a header footer on the body section and we will render all those things right so just like a simple application so please see the upcoming video and please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day